going on guys? I'm John Rubino, Captain of the Valendale Fire Department. Today we're going to talk about how firefighters wear their gear properly and the personal protective equipment that they wear when going inside a you know, burning building or any type of emergency situation. So now we're going to talk about each piece of equipment that the firefighter wears to keep them safe inside a fire. First is our helmet. It's solid. It helps us from falling debris. If anything falls on top of our head, it will protect us. It also has a Nomex hood that's inside of it to protect our neck and ears inside a burning building. We also have these little flip down visors that protect our eyes and um, a flashlight on the side so we can see inside of a burning building and also a reflective band on the, on the rim of the helmet so firefighters can see us and victims trapped inside houses can see us as well too. Another important piece of equipment are the gloves. These gloves protect our hands inside when we're searching inside a smoky building um, so we don't get burned. They're made of a fireproof material so these will not catch on fire. Next, a firefighter needs his jacket. You can see there's some reflective taping on the jacket. This allows uh, victims or people trapped inside a burning building to see us. This also uh, you know, lets our other firefighters know that you know, we're inside a building as well. It's got a Nomex lining inside. Uh, this lining keeps us safe from fire, burning gases and stuff like that. And it buttons up and uh, we'll show you later how uh, you know, the firefighter wears this. Next is our bunker pants. These pants, like the jacket, have a reflective lining that go all the way down to the leg. This allows firefighters and other people to see us inside of a burning building. We have boots, leather boots, steel toe, so in case anything falls on the toes, our feet are protected. I also have a harness here, so if I have to go up and work inside uh, you know, on a ladder, um, I'm able to tie off. There's also an emergency escape bag in here. This bag we can put onto window sills if we need to you know, escape through a window quickly if the fire gets out of control. Next, most importantly, is a Nomex hood. This goes over the firefighter's head, protects his neck, his ears, his head, uh, and this is just another layer of protection uh, for the firefighters. Next, we have our mask. This goes with our Scott Pack. It's our SCBA, or SCBA self-contained breathing apparatus, and what that does is give us clean breathing air inside of a fire, uh, so we don't have to breathe in poisonous gases or you know hot air, and uh, we're able to do our job quickly and efficiently. Last but not least is our SCBA our self-contained breathing apparatus. This allows firefighters, again, like I said, to give us clean breathing air inside of a fire. And um, in about a minute, we're gonna show how the firefighter dons all this equipment, all this uh, PPE, this personal protective equipment, to keep us safe inside a fire so we can save you. So the first step in wearing our firefighter's gear is to put our Nomex hood on. Put this over my neck like this. Make sure that it spreads out evenly over my torso and my back. So now I'm gonna put my bunker pants on. Put one foot in each boot, like so. Then I'm gonna pull my pants up over my legs. And by the way, if you don't wear this gear properly, serious injury or even death can occur. Tighten them down a little bit. Make sure that the snap snaps in. Velcro's good to go, and my buckle. Now my pants are perfectly on and ready to go. So next is our personal protective jacket. I'm gonna put this on, like so. Each arm goes through each Jacket's nicely placed over my body, torso area. We're gonna buckle each snap individually, all the way up to the top. We're gonna to take our neck protector, slide it underneath, so that protects my neck. And the jacket step is complete. So now the firefighter's gonna put on his SCBA, his self-contained breathing apparatus. The next step is to put our mask on. We'll slide this over our head. There's individual straps that we have. We pull these straight back, the two tops straight out, and then there's one strap up top, straight back. Now after my mask is perfectly fitted to my face, I'm gonna put the Nomex hood on that I was talking about before. I grab the hood behind, slide it over. Now I have a perfect protection over my head, my ears, and my neck. So now, this is the self-contained breathing apparatus, the SCBA or the Scott Pack that we use to give us clean breathing air inside of a fire. Here's the cylinder here. We have our personal accountability alarm. And this will activate in case a firefighter is down. <whistles> Sends an alarm so we know that the firefighter is injured. This is our regulator. We attach this right to our mask. And this is how we get the clean breathing air inside of a fire. Next, I'm going to put the pack on and I'm gonna show you what it looks like and sounds like when we're getting clean breathing air.
I put it over my shoulders like this. I let it slide down. I grab the top two straps, pull them down, and as I'm doing that, I'll grab the waist straps with my other two, with my hands. Put that around my waist, almost like a regular car seat buckle. Take the two waist straps, tighten them, and now my pack's ready to go. Now I'm gonna put my helmet on. This goes over my head like this. My gloves are next. Finally, now I'm ready to go into a smoky building. I take my regulator. So now I clip it in like so. And now I have clean breathing air inside of a fire. This allows me to operate and work inside a smoky building where there's poisonous gases and be able to come and save you. So here's a quick tip for you. When you have your mask on to make sure that you have a proper seal around your mask so no air escapes, we take the palm of our hand and you hear that suction noise. That means you have a good seal. So now when you put your breathing apparatus on, no air will leak out. Make sure your purge valve is always turned off on your regulator so you don't lose valuable air. Also remember, sometimes when we put our pants on, our boots get caught. We have to make sure that our pants go over our boots so it can protect our legs. Another good tip is to make sure that your hood is always tucked inside of your jacket. This allows proper protection of your neck and ears. As a warning, if you don't put your clips on properly, you could become severely burned inside of a fire and that would hurt real bad. A lot of old school firemen think it's uncool to wear a Scott pack inside of a fire. They think that they don't need it. But if you don't wear your self-contained breathing apparatus inside of a fire, you're only subjecting yourself to harmful smoke and you can die. Well, we gotta run now, we gotta call. But it was great having everybody here. I hope you learned something about how firefighters wear their gear properly. And remember, be safe, call 911 for any emergency. See you around, gotta go.